Hello guys, it is Static here, and here's a video that I wanted to get out like two months ago. Um, so if you're an Apex Legends player, which I'm pretty sure you are since you clicked on the video, you would know that it can get pretty hectic on there, and there's some stuff on there that can annoy us, and well. I'm here to talk about what annoys me on the game. So, starting off with number one, um, people who force themselves to be a leader. Yeah, I just had to get this one out the way. Now, I've been playing this game since last year, and I can honestly say I'm a veteran when it comes to this game. So, I honestly do not need someone telling me where to go or what to do. Like, I honestly do not need that. Like, I had that so many times in the past. I mean, it's not bad to try to be a leader. It's just, don't force yourself to be one. Like, you don't need to, like, control the entire team. Like, you don't need to do that. Um, number two. People who complain slash leaves or complain and leave when their character gets picked so I've seen this so many times um, there can be people who will just complain when their character gets picked or they'll just leave um, you know I'm sorry that you can't be raped this round but you know there's always the next game you can just pick another character don't you have a, like a secondary character you can pick it you don't need to always be rape you know or you know it's it can come to any character but I just had to pick on racist you know she's the most overused character in the game sorry but she is um, number three the static sounds through headphones now when I enter a game, I did not need to hear a bunch of shattering going through my headphones. <laughs> like no, I will honestly have to mute every time I hear a bunch of static going through the headphones. So yeah, I did not want my eardrums to get messed up. Oh. Number four, people who insult the character that you picked. So. This happened to me like two months ago. Um, now, Loba's a new character still. Um, she's the newest one. And there was this guy who honestly had the dentist, who honestly had to say that she's useless. Um, is she useless or do you just not know how to use her? Because. I love her bracelets. I I love the teleporting that she does. And also, if you're in the, if you're in the end game and you pop her ultimate, and there's like a bunch of loot boxes around, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be very useful. I don't get why he said that she's useless. It's I don't think that she's useless. I think that she's very helpful, especially in the end game. She's very helpful. Um. What number? Oh, number five. Um, oh, people who instantly leave when they get down or die. So you're telling me you can't wait five seconds to be rescued? You're telling me that you just gotta leave now? Oh no, I got down. Now I gotta leave the game. You know, screw this. My teammates suck. Like, if you leave every five seconds when you get down. How do you expect to get a job? Because it's like you get a job and all of a sudden like five seconds into getting the job, you're like, where's my paycheck? Like, I hate when people just leave once they get down or when they die. Like, you're telling me you can't just wait like five seconds to be rescued. It's so annoying. Number six, people who spam that they need help when they get down. So, yeah, don't you just hate every time, like, that just happens? Like, especially, like, if, they're, if they, like, go off on their own, 
and then they get down and then they're like spamming like they need help it's like um you're the idiot who wanted to go off on your own so yeah <laughs> I hate when they spam that they need help it's like you're the idiot here I'm sorry uh, number seven people who spam their banner when they get out so people when they die and they just spam the A button. Now I'm on Xbox, so I know which button it is. So they will spam the A button every time they get down. Yeah, um. <laughs> Don't you just love hearing that sound like multiple times through your eardrums? Yeah, I really like hearing that noise, you know, every one second. <laughs> every second. You know, you hear the ding, ding, ding. Like, please, just shut up. Just stop spamming. We're coming for you. Even if you did an idiotic thing, like, we'll still come for you. Just stop spamming the freaking A button or whatever um, key it is for every console. Um, the next one. People who know each other. So basically teammates who enter a battle with each other and they will bully the other teammate now I had this incident like two months back um, it's on my channel uh, is nicely nicknamed or titled the worst octane ever yeah so apparently I stole a body shield like earlier in the game when I was trying to revive one of my teammates and yeah apparently those two knew each other and apparently one of them told the octane basically um there was a loba and apparently they meshes the octane that i stole their purple body shield when i didn't when it was literally right in front of my face like so Apparently, I stole a body shield, and then the odd tank later, uh, he would troll me. I got down, and he just waited until I died, and then they went through my loot box. Like, when it when that happens, it just makes you want to punch them in the face. Like, it it's just sad when your teammates literally trolls you like that and they wait until you until you die and then they loop through your box so if you're fighting with one of your teammates and you get down chances are you're not going to get back up and then there's going to they're just going to wait until you die and then they'll get you back in the in the game so yeah you got to love it uh so I guess he's to say, um, oh wait, actually, yeah, I actually wrote down a list here, you know, just in case I forgot, but the last one is people who are cowards and rescuing you. So I go back for anyone. I honestly go back for, well, mostly everyone. I will honestly risk the game to get my teammates back in because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to help them out you know especially with the experience and I played with this game you know I'm pretty sure I'm tough enough to go ahead and get rid of two opponents you know if they get killed I can just go back for them like but with other people they would just leave you like even if they're close by if your banner is like close by they will just run away like cowards even if the ring is not even um moving in they will run away like cowards it's quite sad honestly it just shows what kind of a person they are it just shows how brave they are like on a scale of one to ten they're a zero they're honestly a zero when it comes to rescuing you um uh, yeah this was a fun video um i may make a part two i know there's still a lot of stuff in apex legends that's, that annoys me so 
yeah um you know look for a part two video in the future but for now that's it um i'll see you guys next time i don't know what i'll post next maybe it'll be a it'll probably be an apex legends video who knows i actually did get back into the game today and i completed the um the quest mode and yeah that robot head <laughs> spoilers yeah that robot head oh man I don't know what that was supposed to mean but uh, I can't wait until season 6 Se season 6 is gonna be amazing and hopefully I'll be back you know active hopefully I'll get back to being very active like I was in the past so yeah Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.